am I supposed to do? What's wrong? Are you okay? I had no ulterior motive. I just couldn't leave her alone. How long ago was it now? And why am I remembering this now? It's because... S psycho What the heck is he? Me, the elite guy, will be her husband instead of a poor guy like you! Today was supposed to be my wedding. Yet, the guy in the tuxedo smirks in front of me. I'm sorry. Break up with me. What the heck? Well, it's no wonder I had a flashback on the day I met Psycho. What is this? I'm confused and can't think properly. Even the noise around me sounds far away. And so, the woman I helped that day was stolen by a stranger. It was the worst experience of my life. After my partner ran away from me, I just put on a fake smile to the invited guests. Ken John, um, what did you have for breakfast today? What's with that question? You sound super awkward. I felt sorry and miserable for making my friends worry about me. My parents and relatives were furious. They were demanding Psycho's parents for all sorts of things, but... Unable to cancel the wedding, I left the venue after having dinner with the guests. This kind of thing really happens, eh? I was in despair, and the next thing I realized, I was at the beach. This is where I met Psycho. <gasps> what am I supposed to do? Huh? What? Have I finally gone so mad now that I'm hallucinating? When I looked, I saw a woman in a wedding dress crying. Whoa, beautiful. The orange sea with the setting sun and the pure white dress swaying in the wind. You can't help but admire it. A bride? And pregnant? And I unconsciously repeated the same thing as I did before. What's wrong? Are you okay? You'll catch a cold if you stay here. Um... Uh... Who are you? I'm just another guy who came to the beach to cry because I got dumped so hard. My heart ached even though I said it jokingly. Still, I wanted this woman to laugh. Did you have a hard time? <laughs> You're pregnant, aren't you? You should warm yourself up. When I gently put my own jacket on her shoulders, she started to cry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. I know it's irresponsible to say it's gonna be okay without knowing her circumstances. But right now, those were all the words I could come up with. Afterwards, she told me in tears that her name is Urara Matsui. She's currently pregnant with twins. I just kept listening to her cry. Today, I was going to have a wedding. And yet, the guy ran away from me. After a while, she stopped crying and told me the reason for her tears. What a coincidence! Actually, me too. My bride ran away from me. I said so with a smile, and she seemed to relax her shoulders a little. But then... What the heck is this? What's wrong with him? It's the day of the wedding, you know. Is he an idiot? If he was going to run away, he should have done it sooner, that idiot! U urada san you're absolutely right, but please calm down. How can I possibly stay calm? If you put so much pressure on your abs, the babies might come out. It's impossible, but she was so raged she made me think so. Seriously, I have a baby in my belly and they're moving around so much already. I can't even throw myself off the bridge like this. She started crying again. She's definitely not alright. Um, Urara-san, do you like cats? Huh? Y yeah I do love cats. Hearing that, I decided to invite her to my house. Oh, so cute! <laughs> so fluffy! <laughs> Whoa, even the cats are weirded out. I own a cat cafe and live with a few cats. It started out as a regular cafe, but my love for cats led me to turn it into a cat cafe. All of my cats are rescued cats from the shelter. But now, they're friendly. What do you think? Do you feel a little better? Kensei-san! Yes, I 
feel a lot better. Oh, I'm sorry. Your dress has lots of cat hair on it now. Oh, it's okay. I made this dress myself, so... Really? That's amazing! Thank you very much. I like to hand make various things. It's always been a dream to wear a dress that I made by myself for my wedding. <sighs> I never thought it would end up like this, though. She must have worked hard to make it. Looking forward to today. Tailoring a wedding dress is no easy task. Then, one of the cats approaches Urada-san's feet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did it bother you because it was swaying? Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! This cat doesn't usually approach anyone but me. I bet he's asking you to play with him. He's gone. I think he can tell that you're a kind person. Then, she bends down and picks Gon up in her arms. <laughs> Thank you. Shall I give you this dress? Nyeh, nyeh. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I thought Urara-san was beautiful as she smiled with tears in her eyes. After that, Urara-san came to my cafe every day. Kensuke-san, I'm here again. Urara-san, are you okay? Your belly has gotten even bigger. I'm even too energetic. It's thanks to you and the kitties here. I'm glad, but don't push yourself too hard. I've been looking forward to her visit these days. Can I take pictures today too? Of course, as long as you're careful with the flash. Thank you for your help. Thanks to you, we have a lot more young ladies come in. She's a freelancer who makes her living by making handmade products. And because her products look really cute, she's actually a popular influencer as well. So, when she put pictures of her cats on social media, they attracted a lot of customers. I'm glad I could be of some help. Actually, I'm getting admitted to the hospital from tomorrow. I'm having twins, so they're going to do a C-section. I'm taking lots of pictures today so that I can see them at the hospital. <laughs> if you let me know, I'll send you more pictures. Good luck with your babies. I'll be cheering you on. Kensuke-san. Thank you. Hooray! Hooray! Ooh-da-da! I feel like I'm watching the ending of a certain popular show in Japan. Oh, is this video ending too? No, no, wait, wait. Stay here, everyone. It's not the end. I got too carried away and hurt my back after this. Then, Urada-san successfully gave birth to twins, and is spending her hectic days raising her kids. Her parents seem to have passed away, so I go help her on my days off. <laughs> oh, why are they crying at the same time? Urada-san, I'll go make some milk! Oh, c calm down, kids! The twins often cry at the same time, and every time they do, we both get nervous. <sighs> Finally, they're sleeping. Great job, Urara-san. You should take a rest. Thank you for always coming to my rescue. No worries. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. Each day must be so busy that it feels never-ending to a mother raising twins. And yet, years pass in a blink of an eye, and before we knew it, the twins have grown so much. Gone! Here's your food! No, I'm feeding him! Hey, you two, don't speak so loud. The twins, Ren and Anne, turned five years old in a blink of an eye. I'm sorry, Kensuke-kun, my kids seem to love cats. Don't worry, the cats here are used to people. They have no problem. So cute. The combination of a cat and small kids. It's more angelic than an angel. And surprisingly, the twins attracted even more customers. The sight of the cute twins and the cats playing together quickly became viral, and people started lining up to see them every day. You can pet me too, Onechan! Oh, so cute! He knows how to treat ladies already! Scary. Thank you both for being so kind to the cats! Of course, because I'm friends with them! Me too, me too! I love cats! I love Kensuke too! Oh, angels! The angelic twins are attracting even more customers. But as the number of customers increases, so does the burden on the cats. 
Finally, we decided to set a daily admission limit. And surprisingly, we will even soon open a second shop as well. Another reason why our shop has become so popular is... Since a few days ago, we started displaying Urata-san's handmade goods. Kensuke Queen, I was wondering if you could sell these in your store? Huh? Whoa, that's a lot! I actually couldn't sleep at all until they were weaned. While I was watching over them, I made a lot of cat-related crafts. Um, Kensuke Kun? I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it! So cute! Well, um, you can take home whichever you like, okay? Oh, how did you know I wanted them? Um, you just said it out loud, you know? I was heartbroken because I lost my bride, but thanks to the twins and Urata-san, my life got better. Since I met you, my business has been thriving. Thank you, Urata. Oh, no worries. It's all because you and your cats here are so wonderful, you know? As we spend our time helping each other, we've gradually become closer. I wish we could stay here together forever. Is that too much to hope for? I shy away from the idea due to the past trauma. Mom, I want to live here with Kensuke, the cat's mommy, Minkun. What? Uh, Anne? Me too. I'll take good care of the cats. Please? Mom, you love Kensuke too, right? Hey, hey, what are you saying, Ren? What are you talking about? I can't look directly into their cloudless eyes. And so, we end up living together after the twins' cute request. Overcoming our painful past, Urara and I were slowly moving forward. Just when I had such faint hopes that we might be able to live happily again, I hear disturbing footsteps approaching. Hey, Urara. You're looking well. <gasps> Why are you here? A man who looks familiar comes to Urara. I'm sure he's the guy from... back then. You've been posting all about this cafe on social media, so I thought I'd come here to see you. How are you doing? Oh, so those are my kids, huh? What is it? It's none of your business anymore. Well, don't say that. I came to see you because I wanted to start over again, you know? Start over? Do you even know what you've done to me? On the day of the wedding, it was you who ran away from me. Urara, her voice trembling, was hugging the twins protectively. I stand there protecting them and glare at the man. You're the guy who took away Psycho, aren't you? Huh? Oh, you're Psychos. Well, sorry about that time. I'll give that back to you now, okay? Give back? What is this guy talking about? As I was puzzled, the guy starts talking without me even asking. Psycho was my ex. She was a good woman, so when I heard she was getting married, I started to miss her. But she said she couldn't bear a child. The doctor said it's too dangerous because of her heart condition. So what? That's a problem, you know. If I can't have an heir, then the blood of the elite will be cut off, right? So now you're throwing her away again, huh? Well, she was yours to begin with, so I'll give it back to you. Stop messing around. Huh? And that's why you're gonna take Urara away from me this time? Enough is enough! Don't treat women like pawns to be discarded. Don't think that everything will go your way. Shut up! I'm an elite, and any woman who gets chosen by me should feel happy. If you don't give me Urara, I'll take my son who has my blood in him. Stop it! Ren! Oh, please stop! It hurts! Stop it! Ren! Listen to me. You're my... I don't know you. Don't make mommy cry. Ouch! Rem bites the man's arm. Then, our cats, who were watching from afar, also started attacking him. Ow, 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 ow! Damn it! What the heck is this place? In the blink of an eye, the man was covered in scratches, and it was Urara who delivered the final blow. I'm going to charge you alimony for the damages, including the wedding expenses. <laughs> what are you talking about? No matter how long it takes, I will 
fight you to the bitter end. I will not forgive you. I have a responsibility to protect my children. I won't let you get away with this. Urata says with dignity. I can't believe she's the same person who was crying on the beach that day. Tim, what the heck is wrong with you? I don't need kids who go against me either. Just live in poverty with that dude there. He must know that he's at a disadvantage. The man ran away just like that. Then a week goes by, just when we thought peaceful days would return. There's another visitor who stirs things up. Kensuke? You, psycho. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I was wrong. You, you loved me so much. I compared you, a small cafe owner, to him an elite. And I... I don't want to hear your excuses now. I have absolutely no feelings for you anymore. I was remembering that day on the beach again. I have remembered this since the wedding day. <gasps> uh, what am I supposed to do? What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I knew I had a weak heart, but it was worse than I thought. The doctor told me not to get pregnant and to give up on having children. I see. Hey, Psycho. Let's get married. All I want is for you to live. I smiled at her and she cried out loud. I wanted to be with her even if she couldn't have children. So, not out of mercy, I genuinely wanted to live my life with her. I thought we had a strong bond. Or so I thought. With the money I had saved up, I prepared to hold a wedding and even bought a house to live in. I wanted to make Psycho the happiest woman in the world. But, I was a poor cafe owner, and she easily chose a wealthier man, just like that. I have no intention to protect you anymore. Katsuki? Goodbye, Psycho. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna fight you too, with my lawyer. The wedding expenses, the purchase of my home, there are many things I need you to pay for. When I said that, Psycho started crying and collapsed to her knees. I am no longer there to wipe those tears away. Then, we fought each other in civil court and won. Thanks to the awesome lawyer at the ramen shop, we were able to get them to pay us a limony. I don't know what happened to them after that, but I'm sure they will never live together again. I hear the man's credibility has been shattered by this incident, and even his prized life as an elite is in jeopardy. Psycho is so depressed that she never comes out of her house, and I have no way of knowing how she's doing now. And as for us, today, Urara and the twins are celebrating our second wedding day together. I thought we would never had a wedding again, but I'm so happy to see you as a bride again. Mom, so beautiful! Lovely! I want to marry you, Mom! <laughs> Thank you both. And Kensuke. Thank you for being here with me. Urara is smiling happily. Wearing a new wedding dress that's different from the one she wore that day. Hey, Kensuke. We didn't ha get to have a wedding that day, right? So this is actually the first wedding for both of us, right? I'm glad I get to do it with you. Urara. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll make you happy. On our wedding day, my ex ran away from me, and we miraculously met and tied a knot. With Ren and Anne, who love me as their father, and with the new life that has come into Urara's belly, we will make wonderful memories of our happy wedding this time. <laughs> the devilish laughter echoed through the office. Did you guys hear that? This guy told a girl that there was a price tag on her clothes. But he said it so loudly that the girl got all the attention, so she slapped him! Ah, uh, here we go again. <laughs> he just doesn't understand girls! My name is Rui Natsume. I work for a trading company. It's been two years since I got transferred here. Takashi is my older colleague and makes fun of me every day. He's a good talker, so everyone laughs at what he says. But I don't care. I got up from my seat to go make coffee. Hey! Where are you going? I'm just gonna make coffee. Arr, 
You just don't care about anything I say! You're so unfriendly! I don't want to be friendly, so it's okay. Uh, you bastard! I always speak my mind, so I'm not sociable like this guy. But I'm fine with that. I don't want to be friends with everybody. I don't even envy him for being a good salesperson. You never change! Are you sure you don't have to become more friendly? Huh? What is it all of a sudden? If you don't change, I'll take your precious girlfriend, you know? What are you talking about? There's no way that's gonna happen. I have a girlfriend I started dating right after I came here. I'm even thinking of getting engaged. It's true I haven't been able to spend much time with her lately, but there's no way she'll break up with me. Gooey, I want you to break up with me. Huh? Why? She's my girlfriend, Cherry. We've been dating for a year and a half. Well, she says I'm more reliable. <laughs> I'm sorry. Takashi-senpai complimented me a lot and I fell in love with him. What the hell? It was right after I got transferred here. Ugh! What am I going to do? Why is this happening? Cherry chan what's wrong? Oh, Takashi-senpai. Um, there's an error and I can't fix it. Oh, uh, I see. This is, um, easy. It was obvious that he had no idea what to do. Oh, sorry, Cherry chan I have a meeting with my client now. What? Senpai? I don't think he has any meetings today. He must have run away. Oh, what should I do? She was about to cry. Unfortunately, I seem to be the only one who noticed it. So, reluctantly, I headed over to her desk. Cherry san let me take a look. Uh, Dewey san Hmm, I see. This is not that easy, but I can fix it. And I showed her how to fix the error. I was touching her computer from behind her back. I wasn't aware how close we were, but she was. She later told me that's the moment she started liking me. Since then, we started talking a lot. Takashi Senpai was secretly watching us. He was glaring at me and didn't like the way things were going. It was right around this time that he started making fun of me. I guess I boost his ego, but it's not my fault. I couldn't leave Chieri alone. And to be honest, I thought he's useless even though he's older than me. Whoops, excuse me. I shouldn't have said that. But I didn't feel like stopping Chieri from switching over to Takashi. Cherry, let's go to lunch together. Sure, I want to eat green peppers. What? Like, just by themselves? Raw? <laughs> He's confused. Cherry is a weird girl, but Takashi doesn't seem to understand her at all. He probably started dating her just to show me up. And suddenly, my boss wanted me. Natsume, sorry to bother you. Uh, no, it's okay. Actually, I was just told the headquarters wants you back there. Oh, already? I thought I was gonna stay here longer. But it seems the headquarters is having a hard time since the former president passed away. Okay, if that's the case, I'll go back. Well, honestly, I want you to stay here, but... Thank you very much. I'm honored to hear you say so. I'll miss you. I've always liked how honest you are. I'm really glad I got to work with you. <laughs> I know those are your honest words. I can't stop crying. I finally got back to work. My boss didn't let me go for a while. To be honest, I'm glad I can go back to the headquarters now. I don't mean to bring Romans into work, but still, it's not comfortable working together with her. Rui, what did the boss want you for? Oh, I'll be going back to the headquarters. Uh, what? You're leaving us? What? Wasn't he transferred here because he was useless at the head office? Wait, wait! Then is he a better guy to be with? Cherry looked so surprised. Was it that surprising? Well, I guess I never told her I wasn't gonna stay here forever. But since she's chosen Takashi now, it's none of my business anymore. I declined my boss's offer to hold a farewell party, and a few days later, I was to return to the headquarters. 
Natsume! <laughs> Let's have a drink together the next time you come to the head office. Will do, <laughs> Natsume! He tearfully bade me farewell. I felt sorry for him, but I couldn't be helped. I'm glad I could work with a kind boss like him. And I headed back to Tokyo for the first time in several years. Whoa, it's been a while. This building is huge as usual. I was looking at the headquarters building for the first time in several years. It was overwhelming. The former president passed away while I was away from Tokyo. I heard the head office has been having a hard time ever since. I was wondering what the situation was now, and someone came out of the building. Dewey-kun! Mei-san! I mean, Miss President. Good to see you. Welcome back. She's Mei Fujisaki. She's the daughter of the former president and my older colleague. We used to work together. And she's now the president. You've changed. You actually look like the president now. Really? Well, you haven't changed. You mean I haven't grown as a person? I didn't say that. I've heard how hard you've been working. Thank you very much. She's been staring at me for some reason. What's wrong? Is there something on my face? Oh? I'm just glad to see you again. Is that all? She's been staring at me so much. I don't know what to do. Um, by the way... Uh, for some reason, she slapped me. Huh? Why did she do that? Uh, there was a mosquito on your cheek. Uh, but wasn't that too strong? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Um, it's okay. Someone else slapped me just the other day, so I'm used to it. Seriously? What the hell did you do? I don't think I've done anything wrong. My cheeks were tingling. I never expected to be slapped so many times in a short period of time. What a nice way to welcome me back. Later that day, for some reason, she wanted me in her office. I wonder if I did anything wrong. I fearfully knocked on the door and slowly opened the door. Excuse me? Sorry, I know you're busy. She's really in this room. She really is the present, huh? Oh, it's fine. But if you're gonna slap me again, I'll leave. I won't! There's a good reason why I asked you to come. What is it? Here, Dewey Kun. From today, you'll be the head of the systems department. Congratulations! What? Me? Yes. It had already been decided that you'll be promoted after you come back here. I see. Well, thank you very much. I'll do my best. It's a big accomplishment, you know. It's not easy to become a department head at your age. Well, I might not be convincing since I became the president at the same age. Um, are you bragging? No, I, I'm not. I didn't mean to. <sighs> I wasn't ready to take this position. I didn't have a choice. You don't sound confident. Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you about your promotion. What? What is this? What's happening? She's looking at her computer and panicking. Um, what is this? Um... <sighs> Can I take a look? Um, yeah, please. I quickly fixed the issue. It only took three minutes. I thought I taught you how to deal with this before. Oh? Is that so? <laughs> My bad. And the way you panic. You haven't changed, have you? Ugh, you're always so frank. You never change either. That's because I'm not trying to change. <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? <laughs> well, I thought you had to change since you became the president. But you never changed. I'm kind of relieved. You're still useless. Useless? <laughs> The same goes to you. You never change. We were laughing together, just like the old days. After work, I came to the rooftop to smoke. I used to come here all the time. Oh, is that May? There was May. She seemed to be lost in thought. I wonder what's bothering her. She suddenly became the president. 
she must be under a lot of pressure. I quietly approached her. Are you alright? Oh, do we can, yeah? She smiled at me as she responded. How are things going for you here? It's been a while since you last came to Tokyo. I like it here, and the view is nice, especially up here. Yeah, this building is huge, so the view up here is really nice. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, May? Oh, Rui-kun, any plans tonight? No, I was just gonna go home. How about we go out for a drink? Let's celebrate your promotion. We decided to go out for a drink. I felt she was acting a little strange though. She took me to a bar where we had once been in the past. Whoa, it's been a while. Oh, you remember this place? You were binge drinking here after you got dumped by your ex. Oh gosh, can you forget that? And we went inside. Cheers! Mm, it's so good. Congratulations again on your promotion. You're really talented. It's thanks to you. I'll work even harder, Miss President. Oh, don't call me that. It makes me sad. Why not? Well, I'll call you whatever you want. She was looking at me. She is as pretty as ever. But something seemed to be bothering her. Oh? How was your life before you came back to Tokyo? Tell me some stories. Uh, sure. There's nothing interesting, though. I told her about work and my ex. I see. You broke up? Yeah, so I'm glad you called me back to Tokyo. I'm glad to hear that. But that girl's so dumb for breaking up with you. Uh, by the way, aren't you worried about something? Uh, me? Well, I'm worried about a lot of things. Or, it's more like I have regrets. I decided to quietly listen to her. As you know, I'm not very competent at work. I'm bad with computers and can't remember things. When my dad was around, I never tried to learn from him. So, when he suddenly passed away and I became the president, there were so many things I couldn't do. So this is why the headquarters was having a hard time. I'm sure she was trying her best though. My dad built such a huge company, and the building is so huge. It's amazing, but it's so big. I'm not sure if I can handle it. I have the utmost respect for my dad, and I regret not learning more from him. More than anything, I wish I could tell him how much I loved and admired him. I somehow thought he would be there for me forever. May, I actually spoke to him before. You know, May's not good at remembering things. She does weird things sometimes too. She may not be very competent at work, but I'm still really proud of her. He... he said that? Yeah. He often bragged about you when he got drunk. He was quite known for doing that. When I was still at the headquarters, I used to go drink with him. I'm sure he knew how much you loved him. <laughs> I see. I know you never lie, so that must be true. That's right. I never lie. I'm not good at making up stories either. Thank you, Rui-kun. I'm happy to hear that. I'll do my best. I'll help you too, so don't worry. It's not just me. Everyone knows you're doing your best. I'm sure they'll help you. It's been two years since I came back to Tokyo. My life has changed dramatically in the past two years. My life is very fulfilling right now. I was hoping my life would stay like this. But one day, something happened. I finished work and stepped out of the office. Dewey! Long time no see! Huh? Why are you here? Cherry, my ex, was standing there. Dewey, I tried to call you many times, but you didn't answer. I guess you changed your number. I knew Cherry called my office several times, but I didn't take her calls. That's because I have nothing to talk to you about. I knew you didn't call me for work. I knew she had no business with my department. Dewey, please, I need your help! Huh? According to her, Takashi lied to a big client just to get new contracts. And he made them angry and lost their trust afterwards. I wanted to tell her that it was none of my business. But I was thinking of my former boss and other co-workers that I liked. Fortunately, 
I knew someone from that company, so I decided to call him. Oh, it's you, Natsume-san. If you say so, I'll tolerate this incident. Just this one time. Thank you very much. Let's meet again sometime soon. I managed to convince him and hung up the call. Thank goodness. And I called my former boss. Hello? Oh, it's Natsume-kun. Oh, it's been a long time. It's been a while, sir. Um, I just wanted to tell you what happened. I told him that the client forgave our company for what Takashi did. Natsume-kun, thank you so much. I didn't know what to do about it. I owe you. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. And I started walking without looking at Chieri. Oh, wait, Rui? What is it? There's nothing more to talk about. Um, well... You got promoted, right? Congratulations! Oh, yeah. Well, thanks. There's really nothing more to talk about, so I started walking again, but... Shui, please... Please get back together with me! Huh? What the hell are you saying? You know, Takashi is a smooth talker, but he's not honest. But you're different. Also, I didn't know you were so confident at work. I realized how much you meant to me. What are you doing, Nui? I heard the voice of the person I love. Hey, you ready to go home? Yeah, I finished early. Let's go home. Wait, wait a minute! Hey, what are you doing to my husband? What? Husband? I got married. That's all I have to say. And I decided to give my last words to her. Oh! Just one last thing. You seem to like Takashi's smooth talking, but you should try to see the true nature of a person. Uh, hey, Dewey! I really liked her before, but Mei is the only woman I love now. Cherry was still saying something, but I just walked away. Hey, Dewey, she's that girl, right? Didn't you have to talk to her properly? You're too kind. You want me to be nice to other girls? Even to her? No, of course not. You're the only one I love now, so don't worry. I'm happy with Mei right now thanks to my honesty. I know I'm not a smooth talker, but I know how to be honest with people, and I want to stay that way. We finally decided to have our wedding. We had already submitted our marriage certificate, but we were too busy afterwards. Mei was smiling next to me, and she was really beautiful. I feel really happy. <laughs> Let's be happy together, Dewey. Yeah, but don't slap me anymore, okay? I know, I know, I won't do it again. I was surrounded by the people I love. I'll never forget this day. By the way, I heard everyone hates Takashi now because of the incident. Apparently, he's also very frustrated that I married the president. Also, it seems Chieri still regrets choosing Takashi over me. So both of them look doomed and not focused at work every day. Well, if they continue to stay like that and cause trouble for my former boss and co-workers, Mei and I will have to do something about them. Ah, oh, I'm revived. Relaxing and drinking at home in the evening after work. This is a peaceful time for me a 25-year-old single guy. My name is Taichi Murai. I work as a photographer for a small studio. It's no exaggeration to say that I work every day to enjoy a drink after work. Yeah, this is the best. Never mind that I'm still 25 and yet already sound like an old man. As I was soaking myself in happiness, I heard the sound of my happiness crumbling away. Taichi, please open the door. Taichi! <laughs> the sound of heavy knocking and a pathetic voice calling me. Not again. What is it this time? Yes, yes. What's the matter, big bro? Oh, whoa! Help me, Taichi! Wait, what? What the hell? Calm down! Look at this. 
It's hard to believe, but this is my older brother. I let my brother into my house, calmed him down, and listened to what he had to say. What's the matter with you at this hour? You even brought Nanoka. Daddy, I'm so noisy. <laughs> even she's annoyed. My brother's name is Koichi Murai, 32 years old. In spite of how he is now, he works for a big company and is a pretty competent guy. However, outside work, he's like this. Recently, my brother remarried and his young wife and stepdaughter, Nonoka, joined his family. My wifey hasn't come home for three days! What are you doing, wifey? Did you two get into a fight? No, not at all! Ah, uh, stop crying! Apparently, his wife wasn't home on Saturday morning, and she still hasn't come home today, which is Monday. It seems that all the daycare centers were full and have turned down on accepting Nanoka. So my brother took a paid leave today to take care of her, but... I wanted to be with my wifey and Nanoka as much as possible, so I've used up all my paid holidays. I don't have any more left. Yeah, that's so like him. I can't hate him, but he's an idiot. Oh, Taichi, save me! My brother has always been like this. He cries and relies on me easily, but I know he's a good guy. I guess I'm more flexible than an employee of a big company, huh? Oh, Taichi! I haven't told you anything yet, so don't get all excited and get your hopes up. <sighs> Well, I have no choice. Just leave Nonoka to me for a while. Taichi, I owe you! Thank you so much! And so, I, a single man without a girlfriend, suddenly found myself in charge of a two-year-old. I saw my brother off as he went home without Nonoka, saying he has work early tomorrow. I opened my phone to tell my boss about this situation. It's already 7 p.m. I know it's probably a busy time for the boss, but I have no choice. Yes, hello. This is Mizuki. The woman on the other end of the phone is Rin Mizuki. She is the boss of my company. She is cool, straightforward in her work, and trusted by her employees. She is also very popular among men because of her beauty. This is Murai. I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour, boss. It's okay. What's wrong, Taichi? Um, so... That's why I have to take care of my brother's daughter from now on. I see. Taichi, don't worry. We can all take care of her in the office. What? But it might cause trouble for everyone. That's not true. Plus, we're a studio where families come to take family photos. You've been turned down by all the daycare centers too, right? We don't have a problem with having her. Thank you so much, boss. To be honest, I was prepared to take a leave of absence or quit my job. So I was relieved when the boss made me a very kind offer. Nonoka is of course not to be blamed, and I want to help my brother. But I was afraid of losing my job because of that. So I'm really glad. Nonoka, I'm here for you. I thanked the boss again in my heart and fell asleep next to Nonoka. I arrived at the office with Nonoka, feeling a bit nervous. Good morning! Hey, Murai. I've heard about your situation. It seems my co-workers had already heard what happened, and welcomed me and Nonoka with open arms. Boss! Taichi's here! Good morning, Taichi! Boss, I'm sorry for causing trouble. It's not a trouble at all. Um, by the way... Huh? The boss saw Nanoka and looked like she was holding back on something. And then... Aww! Nice to meet you, Nanoka-chan! Oh, so cute! Huh? The boss, who is always cool, fell in love with Nanoka. The cool boss is... suddenly so cute? Um, boss? Um, do you like children? Isn't it obvious? Otherwise, I wouldn't have thought of starting a family photo studio. I guess that's obvious, come to think of it. 
It's the boss who set up the studio that mainly shoots children's growth and family photos on a daily basis. And yet, she's always so cool. We've never seen her so full of emotion. Come to think of it, she never comes to the set. Maybe that's why I didn't know about this side of her. I actually love kids so much that I can't control it. So I try to avoid going on set. So that's how it was. That was kind of unexpected. Oh, I mean a good way, of course. Oh, she's so cute! She's an angel, I love her! She's so passionate, even a child is weirded out. Uh, Taichi, I'm hungry. Oh, okay. Nonoka has mastered the skill of ignoring at age two. Bussy! Nonoka-chan! A few months had passed since I started bringing Nonoka to work. Nonoka has grown fond of the boss, and every morning we see such a scene where it looks like a very touching reunion. Haha, <laughs> you two are both so energetic. Mm -hmm. Um, boss? What's wrong? Is something on my face? Then, the boss came up to me and gently touched my cheek. Bo boss Taichi, you're pushing yourself too hard, aren't you? Huh? You look tired. Oh, <laughs> you found out, huh? I've been taking care of Nonoka in addition to my usual work for the past few months. Although my brother came to visit us on weekends, I was always alone doing everything on weekdays. I wasn't used to this and had no one to rely on, so I was gradually getting tired day by day. By the way, his wifey has not come back yet, apparently. My brother has reported her missing, but the police still hasn't found her yet. Hey Taichi, if you want, I can go help with your housework after work, you know. What? Oh no! I can't ask you to do that much for me. The boss is already actively taking care of Nonoka while I'm working. I was so grateful for that already, so I couldn't possibly ask her to do that much more for me. Don't be shy, okay? I've been thinking of going to help you out once Nonoka-chan got used to me. Oh, is that so? Hey, Nonoka-chan! Can I go home with you today? Bossy! Going home! Together! <laughs> After all my work is done, okay? Oh, hey! Nonoka! That's fine. Nonoka-chan is happy too. Well then, if you insist, thank you so much, boss. And so after work, the boss really came to my house. Thanks for having me. No, no, bossy! You say, I'm home! <laughs> I'm home, Nonoka-chan! Nonoka, please. I'll die from embarrassment. Taichi, is there anything you want me to... Uh -huh. Well, let's clean up first, shall we? Oh, I forgot that it's in a mess. No, I'm sorry. I'll do it. Okay, well, while you're at it, I'll prepare the food, okay? Oh, thank you. That would be great. I took her kind offer and proceeded to clean up the room while she cooked the meal. I haven't had time to clean up my room recently, so this really helps. Bossy, bossy! Hmm? What is it, Nonoka-chan? Bossy, you love Taichi? Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind me. Ambulance! As I was at a loss while being crushed by a huge pile of books, I was thinking that innocent Nonoka might end up killing me from embarrassment. A few years have passed since Nonoka came to me. We will be celebrating her fifth birthday in a few days. I realized that the days you spent with a child seem to last forever at first, but it actually only lasts for a moment. She's already five, huh? And my brother's wife is still missing. I was hoping she would be found soon, but that feeling has been fading these days. I was actually thinking no excuse would make her forgivable if she comes back. 
Since Nonoka has become so familiar with the company, I still often bring Nonoka to work with me like this, even after she started going to a kindergarten. Nonoka-chan, it's been a long time. I've missed you so much. When you say it, it somehow sounds dangerous. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you too. Oh, uh, she's, she's an, an angel. angel. Nonoka-chan! Ah, Rin! She really misses my boss all the time, as she has always been close to her. And she even calls her Rin now. The boss and Nonoka-chan get along really well, don't they? Yeah, they look like a real mother and daughter. Everyone in the office even started saying things like that. <sighs> boss, is something wrong? Oh, no, it's nothing. I felt that the boss looked sad for a moment, and it bothered me. But she brushed it off. I wonder what's wrong with her. I was worried, but got on with my work. On a day off, us three were walking down the street to go out somewhere. I wonder how many times we have done this. On a day off, I often went to my brother's house to cheer him up. I can't thank the boss enough for following me around on those occasions without any hesitation. Your brother seemed happy to see Nonoka-chan, didn't he? Yes, he did. My brother really loves Nonoka, so... I'm sure he's feeling a little better about the current situation. He must be. We'll have to take Nonoka-chan to see him again on our next day off, huh? It's been tough every day, but I've been so happy to have Nonoka's smiling face by my side. My brother had initially filed a police search request for his wifey, but he soon withdrew it. I guess he no longer wanted her to come back as much as he used to. Still, I'm relieved to see that his heart is slowly healing seeing Nonoka grow up. I'm also relieved to be able to spend time with my boss like this. I wonder how long I was under the illusion that this happiness would last forever. I finally found you, Nonoka! Oh, you are! Hello, Taiji. Long time no see. The strong scent of perfume, the thick layer of makeup, and this voice. There's no doubt about it. It's the woman who is supposed to be my brother's wife. What do you want now, after all this time? My brother and Nonoka. What kind of hardships do you think they have gone through? Well, I feel bad, and that's why I came to pick Nonoka up, you know? What? After all this time? If you're here to pick Nonoka up, then what are you going to do about my brother? He's been waiting for you all this time! Oh, that guy? I just called him to say goodbye. Call? You say? You didn't even go to see him in person? Because that guy loves me so much. If I went to see him when it's over, I'd feel sorry for him, right? You're the worst. But I did come for Nonoka. I found someone I want to be with again. Let's live with me and your new dad, okay, Nonoka? I... I... I wanted to tell her to stop, but I couldn't say anything. Is it because I'm not her father? All I could do was clench my fist and look at Nonoka. To Nonoka, she is her mother, no matter how terrible a mother she is. That's why I should let Nonoka do what she wants. On the other hand, the boss raised her voice. Excuse me for interfering, but don't you intend to have children with your new partner? Oh, of course I thought about that, but having a child's hard, you know. I don't want to feel that pain over and over again. So I thought I'd just come and get Noika. Stop messing around! Huh? You! Don't ever open your mouth anymore! Please. There is only one Nonoka-chan in the world! She's not your toy! And... For you to come for her just because it's convenient for you? It's unforgivable. Nonoka-chan is as pretty as a flower, and has a kind heart. I am sure that she would cherish even someone like you as her mother. I can't have children. So I don't know the pain of giving birth, but being able to do so is not something you should take for granted. Can't you realize how fortunate you are to be able to give birth and have met Nonoka-chan? Nonoka-chan, do you want to go back to your mother's place? 
I... Um... I... It's hard, isn't it? You've been lonely for a long time, right? Rin... I... Nonaka, come here! That person is not your mother. I... I... Uh, I don't want to go with you! Nonaka's daddy is Koichi! And uh, Taichi's my father! And Rin is my mother! What? What are you saying? No way! If I go with you... When you don't want me anymore, I'm sure you'll throw me away again! Nonoka! Taichi! Brother? You're here after all, you bitch. My brother was worried and came to us. I'm sure he feared this was happening. Oh, brother. Taichi! Thanks. I'll handle the rest. Saying so, my brother said to his ex-wife with a dignified expression, I'm going to charge you a lemony. Huh? What are you talking about? You didn't say that earlier. If you don't like that, give me custody of Nonoka. Then, no lemony. I know money's all that matters to you. So, what do you want to do? Without any hesitation, his ex-wife said she would give custody to him. And then she quickly left with her new guy. I'm really sorry. For Taichi, Rinsan, and Nonoka. Daddy! I don't have to go with her? No, you can stay here with us. Forever. D Daddy! <laughs> Boss, thank you very much. No, I just wanted Nonoka-chan to be happy. That's already the feeling of a mother, isn't it? What? You heard Nonoka, right? She thinks that you, who smile by her side all the time, are more important than her own mother. She called you her mother, and she doesn't want to leave you. I... can't bear children. They found fibroids in my uterus, so I had to remove my entire uterus. I've always loved children, so I decided to start a photo studio to record their growth. Maybe I did that from my unfulfilled love for children. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure you would be troubled to hear such a story. But I was really happy to spend time with Nonoka-chan. So many times I thought to myself, what if I could be her mother? I love Nonoka-chan so much. I thought it was really amazing that she was able to love children despite all the suffering she's gone through. Boss? No. Rin? Taichi! Will you let me stay by your side? I realized I love you, Rin. Taichi! I love you too, but I can't have children. We have our child, don't we? Huh? Mommy! I love you so much! Thank you for protecting me! Uh, Nonaka-chan! Taichi! Rin-san! Thank you for helping me out until today. I wonder if I could ask you to keep looking after Nonoka. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. He looked refreshed as if he had gotten rid of something that haunted him. And I was happy to see that. No, that's not it! From today on, Taichi's my daddy, Rin is my mommy, and Koichi is father! <gasps> All of you are my important family, okay? Right, father? Oh, Nonoka! Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh my god, are you gonna cry and make a loud noise again? Uh, I... I won't! Oh, Nonoka! Don't you know what I won't means, father? Oh, Nonoka, you know what that means? You've grown so big! Father, so loud! Haha, <laughs> she's scolding you. Nonoka, who must have felt most lonely until now, warmed our hearts more than anyone else could. 
And so, Rin and I got married, and we officially adopted Nonoka. Now my brother has met a new woman and is also happy. From now on, my brother and I will continue to support each other. I sincerely hope that he will stay happy this time. And I hope the same for our family too. Hey mommy, do you love daddy? Yes, I love him. And I love Nonoka too. I was feeling happy as I listened to Nonoka's words, remembering the time she asked the same question in the past. Even though we're not her biological parents, we want to love Nonoka as much as we possibly can. And I want to make Rin happier than anyone else. And we will become a true family full of happiness. I'm Takahumi Yamazaki, the older child, and currently studying for the entrance exam for high school. Big bro, let's play a video game! That's my sister Hiroko, who just entered my room. She's very sweet and smart for her age. We're really close. Sorry, I'm studying. You've been studying for too long! I might start to hate you if you keep turning me down. Alright, let's play. Yay! You scored first on the exam again? Good job, Hiroko! Ever since I was in high school and Hiroko in middle school, my parents started adoring her especially. Hiroko, you're so beautiful and smart. Unlike your brother. No, not really. Whatever. It had been like this until my graduation, where I made a decision of my life. Big brother! Goodbye, Hiroko. This is the last time we see each other. <laughs> I moved out. This was it. Not only for me and my parents, but also Hiroko, so that I wouldn't get cold feet. My parents never came out to see me off. Hiroko, I do wish for your happiness. Hey, you got the documents for the client coming at 3? Sorry, it'll be ready in a minute. After I left my family, I got hired at a real estate office. At first, I was such a useless trash, constantly in need of help from others. Sorry, here's the document. What time do you think it is? You should have had this ready way earlier. You know what time the appointment was? I'm sorry. But over the course of three years, I've become better at my job and started to show results. You've finally outdone yourself. You had the most sales this month. Thank you. Now, I have a task for you. There's a new employee who recently joined our department. I want you to train her. Here, why don't you two get acquainted? I'm Rika Tachibana. Nice to meet you. My first impression of her was the sun. So energetic and smiles like sunshine. I'm Yamazaki. Nice to meet you too. She's good at socializing and blended in quickly with others. She even became client's favorite, some of whom actually visits just to see her. You see this? You're not supposed to do that. So sorry. Even after a few months, she keeps making small mistakes. It's expected from a newbie, so I take it slow. But I'm worried that a more serious mistake will be made someday. You need to be more careful, Tachibana. She reflects on her mistakes, but we both weren't ready for what was coming. I'm really sorry about this. The mistake Rika made this time was a big one, which caused trouble for both the landlord and the client. Didn't I ask you to explain to the new tenant that it's for a single person only? My apologies. We're at fault. So what you gonna do? Our client is furious. We'll find a new place for them, and we'll try to put yours first in line for new customers. We were back in our car after apologizing. But Rika was still feeling down. No surprise there. We practically got beaten up. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> Regret later. Take a look. What is this? Lists of clients that are a possible match for that apartment. And also residences that may be right for the client we've troubled. Y you had this prepared beforehand? It's my job to cover for your mistakes. Just make sure you don't repeat... Are you listening? Takahumi-san, thank you so much. <laughs> Why are you crying? You're good at your job and kind. I think you're really cool. Huh? That was out of nowhere. But I started the car without thinking much about it. Senpai, let's have lunch. 
Ever since then, she's been making a bold approach toward me. Uh, I'm going out to eat today. It's not healthy to eat out every day. Look, I made some for you too. Wow, a heart right in the center of rice. It's all for you. After work, I was finally about to leave way past the closing time. Looks like I'm the last one to clock out. Takahumi-san, finally! T Tachibana? Yes, I've been waiting for you. How long were you waiting? Come on, let's go home! Her affection doesn't feel bad. But I know it can't go on like this. Rika, I appreciate your feelings, but... You don't like me? It's not like that. I just have a lot on my plate. In my mind, pops my parents' and my sister's face. Then I'll wait. What? Until you figure out things and ready to have me on your plate. Said Rika, who smiled, then sped off into the night. Uh, hey, Rika! She's gonna wait. A few days later, I was back at my parents' house, which I never thought I'd visit again. Congratulations, Hiroko! We clap alongside Dad's cheerful praise. Today, we celebrate Hiroko's employment. Come now, Hiroko. Eat to your heart's content. Thanks. Good job, Hiroko. Thank you, big brother. Your company is the most dominant in solar panel market, right? That's crazy. It seems so. I really wanted this job, so I did my best to get hired. I know you did. You never stopped surprising me. So, do you have anyone like a girlfriend? <laughs> the heck? Oh, so you do have one. Sorry for asking. Oh, don't be jealous. Besides, she's not a girlfriend. I'm far from being the right man for Rika. <laughs> Just kidding. Actually, I'm going out with someone. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we went to the same college and he's already working. At where? Advertising agency, Sudan. Damn, that's the major league in the field. He's also proposed to me and I said yes! Okay... So you're getting married. Promise me you'll be at my wedding. Of course. It was such a peaceful celebration. Until my dad blew it. So, what the hell are you doing now? I work at a real estate. I do sales. <laughs> I guess that's all you can do having only graduated high school. What a disgrace to the family. Dad, please! I interrupted her raising my hand when she tried to intervene. It's okay, Hiroko. How shall we introduce you to their family members? When you're such an embarrassment. You don't have to worry about it, Mom. They don't judge people by their titles. We'll see about that. You're invited only because Hiroko insisted. But you better be a good boy and behave during the wedding. Understood. It's time for me to go. I'll just leave it to you three. I packed my stuff and headed out. It hurt seeing Hiroko's sad face as I left. But I just couldn't stay there any longer. I'm sorry, Hiroko. I promise I'll be the best big bro you can look up to. Are you not feeling well, sir? Next day, Rika pointed out while we were driving around to see clients. Huh? Am I not? No, you look gloomy since the morning. Guess it was no use trying to hide it. I told her what happened at my parents' house yesterday. What's wrong with them? Ugh, I'm so mad I could shove this otakiri right in their mouths! Stop! Then they can't try saying something terrible like that! <coughs> Where are they? I'll take them by surprise! Stop shoving the onigiri in my mouth! They also mocked sales job! It's what brings money to the table! They don't know anything! Yeah, I just found that out too. Funny how I'm still trying to impress them, despite the way they treat me. You absolutely don't need to care about what they think of you. Everyone in the office knows you're a wonderful person. Hearing that from her made me feel lighter in heart. Thanks, Rika. I'll just try to focus on my job instead of wasting my time thinking about them. That's the spirit. Let's go. When we get back, we're going to fix your paperwork. Uh, please go easy on me. 
it's been one year, and it's Hiroko's wedding day. I'm in the waiting room. I'm nervous. Hey, Takahumi, it's been a while. Hey, uncle, it really has. Hiroko's getting married, huh? No wonder I feel old as hell. What? You haven't changed a bit. Mm, yes, thank you. When I was socializing with my relatives, my parents walked up to me. Just remember, you're allowed in here only because of Hiroko. Who knows what will happen if they find out you didn't go to college. Just behave for once. Supportive as ever. At this point, I didn't really care about my parents as much as I did before. I have other people to care about now, so whatever they say. This is a wonderful wedding. I'm looking forward to drinking some good booze. Oops, I almost forgot I had something tonight. No drinking. As I'm fidgeting with my thoughts, the room goes dark, and the spotlight turns to the door. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the bride and groom. All eyes on the spotlight, music playing. Then, there was my sister, Hiroko in wedding dress. You're beautiful, Hiroko. My eyes teared up as deafening applause filled the room. Congratulations, Hiroko. Now we move on to the reciting letter of appreciation for her family. The wedding is going smoothly. Hiroko stands in front of the mic, and I ready my camera. First of all, thank you very much for coming today. There's something I want to say. Everyone leans in. Who I'm most thankful for isn't my parents. It's my brother. Uh huh? Every time I did good in school, my parents praised me. But they always neglected to give the same love to my brother. She reveals our family history crying. They only see me as a daughter who is smart, goes to a good college, works at a respected company. That's all they see in me. I was always afraid that they would abandon me if I were to fail at any of those. But my brother, he wasn't like my parents. He was there for me. Our eyes met, by which time I was crying too. Thank you, big brother. I'm happy to be your sister. Always be my best brother for me, please. As you have been. That was the end of the letter, concluded with a big round of applause. Thank you, Hiroko. I never thought I was doing things right as your brother. Hey, what the hell was that? Back in the waiting room, Dad shouted at me. What? Her letter. Was that your doing? I don't know anything about it. Guess that was her true feelings. You... You were seeing your sister behind our backs, weren't you? What's wrong with that? We're siblings! Did you put ideas in her head? No, I did not. I just couldn't ignore her being stressed out by all the pressure from you two. We never pressured her. It's your way of thinking what a good life is. Great college, great company. You still don't get it? <laughs> you ruined everything. See that you'll never see us again. You're disowned. I got disowned by my dad. But it didn't move me in any way. Oh yeah? Saves me the trouble. Because that was my plan to begin with. You drop out? I don't think I'll miss you. Likewise. I see. Would you also cut ties with us as well then? This person who stepped in is Toru, Hiroko's husband. My parents were in shock. Taru, what's the meaning of this? Disowning my brother-in-law means disowning us. Y you have nothing to do with this. You think I don't know? What you did to my beloved wife and to him? I've heard everything. W we didn't do anything. I was going to come to this after we've settled down, but now seems like a good time. From now on, we do not want anything to do with you. What did you just say? You can't just... Yes, we can. We made the decision together. Now out of wedding dress, Hiroko was standing beside her husband. 
Hidoko, how could you do this to your parents? We raised you! I am thankful for that. That's why I stayed family with you until the wedding. But I want to be with someone who sees me for who I really am. Hiroko wasn't a little helpless girl anymore. She was standing her ground and telling them what she really felt. Dad, Mom, thank you. And goodbye. Thanks for coming today, big brother. She thanks me in the waiting room after our parents left. I was touched by your letter. Serious. Best of luck to you two. I'd like to grab some dinner with you again. Promise. I leave the wedding hall. I haven't felt this clear in my head in a while. Mmm, the food here is delicious. I'm now at a restaurant with Rika. I have one purpose tonight. It was my sister's wedding today. She married a good man. And it feels like she's gone away from me. Are you saying you feel sad? Aren't you too attached to her? <laughs> Maybe I was. But I do feel lighter on my shoulder now. That's good. You must have been a great brother to her. Rika, there's something I want to tell you. Uh, huh? What is it? I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I like you, and I want to go out with you. How do you feel about me? Do I really have to answer that? You already know how I feel. Uh, right. <laughs> Pleased to be in a relationship with you. As am I. We take each other's hand. Unlike my parents, Rika doesn't care about titles and likes me for who I am. Of course, I see her the same way. Things might have been different if they take a different approach in raising children. But enough of that. This is the only way I could have met Rika. And that's more than good enough to me. Whatever happened, happened. All I can do now is to try my best to make her happy.